guys, it's Brian here, Right on Red podcast, anti-woke comments, pro common sense. Also, the Divide radio show, Mondays at 3 p.m. on 106.3 FM Rochester, or on my personal Facebook page, you can go live with us. I got a special show coming up the next two weeks, this Monday and the Monday, and I'm sorry, this Monday, then there's Labor Day, then the week after Labor Day on the 12th. This Monday, I got state legislature, uh, state assembly candidate Marcus Williams coming in. Had him in a few times before. He's awesome, great to talk with. Tells it like it is. He's uh, running on the conservative Republican line. Vote row B, and uh, he's always awesome to hear. I kind of just let him go with it on the radio show and just say, "Hey, take control. Tell the crowd what they want to hear," and he, he'll just roll with it. He's funny. Last time he actually slipped and threw a. A uh, nice word out on the radio, which uh, I think I got through. I uh, got passed without getting in any trouble. Shh. And then the twelfth, I've got state senate candidate Chief Jim Van Bredero, who was the Gates Police Chief for years. One of the best people you're ever going to meet. He doesn't have to change his persona to be a political candidate or anything like that. He is who you see every time you see him. He's always got a smile on his face, but he's also serious as they get. Um, helped out greatly over the years with the opiate epidemic and people fighting addiction or in addiction. He was the first to, uh, instead of throwing him in jail, to help him get into a rehab. But he also was very strict with it. You know, if you didn't, go to jail. It's that simple. But um, he's been great with that. He uh, he was there for Gates to recovery, which is, I don't know if it's still on Thursdays at the Gates Town Hall, but it was on Thursdays at the Gates Town Hall, and he's uh, led the Gates police, who was dead set on fighting fentanyl and those who deal it, and put a lot of people away for a lot of years who were caught doing that, and they weren't having it. Don't don't go into Gates if you're a drug dealer. That's my that's my advice. Or if you're carrying a loaded gun or anything like that. Because they, they're not playing around in gates. Even though New York State seems to be. So anyways, we'll get his, uh, we'll get Marcus's this weekend. We'll get Jim Van Bredero's takes on bail reform. And uh, the new parole laws. And what they can bring to the table in the State Assembly and the State Senate. Because God knows we need them. There's uh, <clears throat> just a quick update. Kathy Hochul made an announcement about the bail reform and giving judges uh, the power to label someone as dangerous and potentially dangerous and keep them instead of releasing them with, uh, you know, freedom. And she said no. She said absolutely not because sometimes when judges see someone as dangerous, it's actually the color of the person they're seeing. Now, come on, give me a freaking break with that. We're seeing people, I don't care what color the person is, that gets caught with a gun four times, and on the fifth time, we can finally hold them. Why? Because they shot somebody. Like, that's what it's come down to. Oh, you got caught with an illegal gun? <clears throat> Slap on the wrist. Show up this date, which you know you're not going to show up for anyways. Oh, you got caught again? You got caught again? They release you. Five times the one guy had been released. Until they finally, if somebody's going to carry an illegal gun, and it, you know, they're in a gang, they're carrying an illegal gun. They're carrying it for a reason. Eventually, they're going to pull that trigger. Whether they hit someone or not, that's the only question. So that's what they're waiting for in New York State. They're literally saying, go back out of the streets. We will get you eventually when you fire that weapon. So then, boom, now someone's dead. Because New York State decided we didn't want to hold people for carrying an illegal gun. Now, if you're a, if you're a legal gun owner, they're going to make you jump through every hoop possible. They're going to make you dance all around in order to either get your permit or keep your concealed carry permit. They're going to make you follow these crazy laws that you don't even know what they are. And if you break one of them, they're going to put you in jail. And you might not get that, you know, that real deal of uh, bail reform. You might actually have to post bail or stay in jail. But if you're if you carry an illegal gun, now you're fine. You're good. Go ahead. Here's your, your parents ticket. I'm, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be people who say, you know what, it's not worth going through all this stuff and possibly getting in trouble. I, yeah, I'm just going to carry an illegal gun. Someone breaks into my house, 
I'd rather fight it out with the jury than see my family in, in a graveyard. That's what it's going to come down to. But anyways, make sure you guys join me at my, at my radio show, The Divide, every Monday, 3 p.m., 106.3 FM, Rochester Free Radio, or on my Facebook Live. This week, again, Marcus Williams running for New York State Assembly, and Jim Van Bredero, Chief Jim Van Bredero, from Gates running for New York State Senate. Both of them running on the conservative Republican lines. Both of them are very open-minded, but very strong-willed and, and very much have common sense ideas and have ideas that the law matters, first of all, that our society was built on <laughs> capitalism, laws, constitution, and without those things, without following those things, without living those things, we're, we're just another, you know, mess of a country, and that's what it's turning out to be, and while they're not on the federal ballot, what they're doing is almost more important for us right here in Rochester and in this, in this, in, in this area, this district, because locally we're probably at the top of the list of messes in this in this uh, country <clears throat> as a matter of fact I I'm trying to get Leron Singletary to come on too he's uh, running for US Congress United States congressional uh, district here and that covers Rochester and one of the things he's sharing with the with the people in the city of Rochester is we are ranked second to last out of every congressional district now there's a lot of congressional districts in this country a lot you know how many Congress people there are, people in the House of Representatives. Now, he's running for ours, and we are second to last for black Americans, black individuals in our country to live in and to thrive in and to grow up in. We are second to last. The only congressional district that's worse is Elon Omar's in Minnesota, Minneapolis, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. She's, uh, I mean, she's a mess. That's why. She's a mess. But we know Joe, Joe Morelli just hides it better because he's not—he doesn't have a, you know a national recognition that Elon Omar does. He kind of stays in the shadows, but he's just as big of a mess. And you know he's he's chanting all this nonsense about Laurent Singletary when all he's done since he's been in Congress is put our district and our city and our county into a state of decline, constantly, constant decline. Look at us. What's going good in Rochester? Nothing. I mean, Lovely Warren was part of the problem, sure. Hopefully Malik Evans picks it up a little bit, but it's not looking good right now. And, uh, you know, but as far as us on a, you know, being represented on a, at a national level, Joe Morelli's done nothing, nothing at all. And don't you think, especially the people who live in the city of Rochester, have your lives gotten any better? You know, and that's what Laurent Singletary's asking. Have your lives been enriched? Have they gotten better? Have you had more opportunity? Have you been able to access more opportunity? Have your children and the youth of, of this of this area have they have they gotten more opportunity? Have they seen better opportunity? Have they seen their lives be enriched as well? No, answers no to everything. So why not? People in the city think that they have to vote Democrat for some reason, and I'm not saying it is a racial thing, but it is as far as the Democrats have made it. Black people have to vote Democrat. That's how they made it. They used to say Latino people have to vote Democrat. Well, you're seeing a trend away for both black and Latino people. They're trending away from the Democratic Party, and that's a fact. You're seeing, oh, look at Laurent Singletary, for example, Marcus Williams, for example. They're both black men, and they're both running on a hard, hard, hardcore conservative campaign. Not far right, just saying hardcore conservative. But um, you, there's, they don't have a monopoly on people in the city. You can vote who, for whoever you want to. Vote for the candidate. Joe Morelli doesn't represent you at all. So how about give Laurent Singletary, Marcus Williams, and Jim Van Bredero a chance? Listen to what they have to say at least. 3 p.m. Monday, this Monday, Marcus Williams, 3 p.m., 106.3 FM, Rochester, or my uh, Facebook Live page, Brian McKenzie. And then on the 12th, Jim Van Bredero will join us for the state senate he's running. And listen to what he has to say as well. I think you'll like the message. On 3 p.m. Monday on the 12th, 106.3 FM, or on my Facebook Live. But thanks again, guys, and I'll have a new episode of Right on Red coming out soon, too. Thanks.